Ladies and gentlemen, this, this big black box here, this, this, uh, this instrument was home base for uh, every composer as they were growing up, especially so for the great ones like George Gershwin and Harold Arlen and Richard Rodgers. When they were all growing up, they lived in households that had pianos because in those days, every household had a piano. This was in the days before radios and, and, and phonographs. Successes of songs were measured in sales of, of sheet music. People routinely learned to play the piano. If they couldn't play, there were player pianos to pump out the latest tunes from Tin Pan Alley. I think that Irving Berlin really spoke for a whole generation when he wrote a very famous rag in 1916 about this little baby here. As a child, I got wild when the band played. How I ran to the man when his hands swayed. Clarinets were my pets, and the sly trombone, I thought, was simply divine. But today, when they play, I could hiss them. Every bar is a jar to my system. But there's one musical instrument that I call mine. I love a piano. I love a piano. I love to hear somebody play on a piano, a grand piano. It simply carries me away. I know a fine way to treat a stein. Way, but I'm exclusively a Baldwin artist. I love to run my fingers over the keys, the ivories, and with the pedal. I love to meddle when Paderewski comes my way. I'm so excited. When I'm invited to hear that long-haired genius play, well, you can keep your fiddle and your bow. Give me a P, I, A, N, oh, oh, oh. I love the stop right beside an upright. For a high-toned baby grand I love a piano I love a piano I love to hear somebody play On a piano A grand piano It simply carries
Thank you very much. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a great hour for me. I, I sure hope that we can all do this again sometime. This was terrific. Thank you. Uh, I would like to close this performance with a very sweet song written just last year by Ray Jessel and his wife, Cynthia Thompson. Thank you so much. about two hearts in three-quarter time once there were movies with stars who were stars where oh where can they be and why aren't there heroes like yesterday's heroes and whatever happened to melody Gene Tunney Joe Lewis Ah, those were fighters Not like the pipsqueaks They palm off today Hemingway Steinbeck Now those were writers With style and with substance and something to say Garbo and Gable and Franklin D. Roosevelt I could go on and on Babe Ruth and Bogey and Gershwin and Hoagie oh, What's the use? They're gone are gone and what Posies and picnics and walks in the wood Hammocks and A-rides Have they gone for good? Whatever happened to just holding hands Neath the old apple tree Gone is the magic and speaking of magic, whatever.